Hi, this is Dave. Uh, I go by Dave T. 1963 on the Hunting Beast site. But I wanted to give a quick update on this uh, Tiaga recurve bow that I got right before I went to Washington. I just got back last night. This is be the first day that I've shot this bow, really. But uh, I didn't tune it up. I just strung it, set, checked the brace height, and set the knocking point where I usually like it. But uh, this bow really is impressing me. Uh, the grip on this thing is phenomenal, the way it fits in your hand. Before I went to Washington, I did shoot a few arrows to it. How The performance of this bow, it's about 10 pounds lighter than what I normally shoot, but it's right. It's shooting this 520 grain arrow just as quick as any of my 60 pound recurves, and it's doing it very quietly. Uh, I am super impressed with this bow. I've owned a lot of the top names, Black Widow, Brune, Rocky Mountain, uh, Robertson, you know, quite a few of the big name bows and I'll tell you I, I don't think I've ever shot a bow that performs as well as this bow. Uh, these, this is Caribou, C-A-R-I-B-O-W bows out of uh, Canada. The guy's name is Abe Peener, P-E-N-N-E-R and I will just say he makes a phenomenal bow. I, I like this bow so much that I've ordered two more and this is a stock bow that he just had on his website that I just wanted to try out because it's got the new static tip limbs. That's the EX model. Uh, he just started making that on this Tiega model. And boy, I'll tell you, I'm really impressed. I've got a 520 grain arrow that I normally shoot out of my 60 pound bows. It's got a 225 grain fill point. It's 28 and a half inches long. It's got three five inch feathers. But I'm going to shoot a few arrows just so you get an idea of how quiet this bow is and the performance of this bow. But I'll do that in a second video. But anyway, uh, if you want more information, feel free to PM me over at the huntingbeast.com uh, site or the saddlehunter.com, either one. I, I frequent both sites. And I'll be glad to talk to you about this bow. Uh, like I said, I'm really, really impressed with this. This is probably the bow I'm going to hunt with in 2016. Uh, but anyway, let's get to doing some shooting and see see for yourself the performance quietness and maybe some accuracy with this bow